Hey everyone, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn off the annoying clicking sound of the iOS keyboard. Plus, I also show you some other keyboard alternatives that you can try out. So let's just get started with this video. Of course, this is a little bit less advanced uh, in comparison to my other videos. So if you already know what's going on, just move on or watch some of my other content. Okay. So the way you turn it off is you simply go to the settings, but you don't go to the keyboard section in the settings, but you click on sounds and haptics and you scroll all the way to the bottom and you can see the keyboard clicks has the green tick next to it. So simply disable it. Now, when you type whatever on the keyboard, you're not going to hear anything. And the second option is leaving this option turned on, but instead you just quickly just mute the iPhone using the mute switch on this side of it. So in case you want to keep it on, but occasionally just turn it off, you can simply use the mute switch to mute the entire iPhone. And that means that also the keyboard clicks are going to be muted. So this is like the quicker and a simpler way of doing that. But on the other hand, it's not permanent. And if you just unmute the iPhone, the keyboard clicks reappear. So this is how you simply can do it. If you want to see more videos like this one, including some more advanced tips, not something easy like this, then make sure to subscribe to the Apple Fox channel. We recently crossed 100,000 subscribers. I'm really grateful for it, but let's continue with the video. Okay, so next to the stock iOS keyboards, there are some other alternatives that you can definitely try out. You can, for example, try the Gboard. I know this is a keyboard from Google and some people don't trust it enough, so some people are not going to be using it, but this is definitely a nice way how you can make things a little bit more interesting when it comes to typing on your iPhone. The app is of course free and it is available in most countries. It used to be only available in the US, now it spread out to almost the entire world, so you can go ahead and install this one. Then the next option is, of course, SwiftKey. This is kind of a known app. It's been here since iOS 8, I believe, when Apple added the support for third-party keyboards. And this was like the most important one or the biggest one of them all. So this is something that you can definitely take a look at. I think that you're going to like this one. Of course, this was the, the first keyboard which allowed you to swipe on the letters to type. And it was pretty good at recognizing the words that you try to type. But of course, since this feature is also available on the stock iOS keyboard, for that specific reason, you don't need to download any third party app from the App Store. And there's one more app that I would like to tell you about, and it's one called Nintype, if I pronounced it correctly, and it is actually a paid app. I haven't personally tried it out, but you can take a look at it definitely. I mean, based on what people say about it, they say that it has a very steep learning curve. But once you get the hang of it, it is a very good app. It is very type, it is very fast to type on, and you you can actually use the two finger sliding. I mean, it's just gonna be something like a different way of typing, like a completely revolutionary way, but it requires some learning and practicing. I'm not sure if you really into it, but if you are, just go ahead and try it out. Everything will, of course, be down below in the description. I mean, all the links to the App Store, so you don't have to manually search for it. Just click on the link and it's going to get you there. So this is pretty much everything what I wanted to mention in this video. In case you enjoyed it, I mean, I hopeful, I really hope that you did. And if you did like it, then make sure to like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up. This, of course, helps the channel. It makes the video more visible to more people. So this is something that I would, of course, be grateful for. Thanks a lot for your support, for subscribing. If you're new, definitely subscribe. And see you guys later in the next episode, in the next video. Peace out, guys.